One of the most important things that Joe Allard taught me involved listening. I call it tone imagination. The first thing that has to happen is that you have to hear what you're going to play. Not only the tone quality, and, but the pitch as well. Or I should say not only the pitch, but the tone quality as well. First, that has to occur in the mind's ear. I'm going to work with you today, kind of teach each of you as I would teach one of my own students at the University of Texas at Austin, where I have been teaching for the past 32 years. Um, so just kind of come along with me and uh, see if you'd like to take part in some of this. Sing this pitch. La. Good. Now, sing that same pitch, but make no sound. That is tone imagination. You are now imagining the pitch. Now, you also imagine the tone quality. La, hu, eh, depending. The tone imagination is the first thing that has to take place. Next, the motor area of the brain, which is that part of your brain which controls all the muscle movement, that is, this movement and this movement and actually all the muscle movement, the motor area of the brain, takes that toned imagination and miraculously transfers it into commands in the form of electrical brain waves, which in turn activate the nerve endings, which in turn activate the muscles. And lo and behold, the body responds. In other words, you hear the pitch and the tone quality you want, and if you stay out of your own way, the, the tone and the pitch you hear will come out of the instrument. The problems occur when you are in your own way. And let's talk about what puts you in your own way. The most important part of the body that responds to these commands from the motor area of the brain is the area of the throat. The area of the throat starts way down here and goes all the way up and actually includes the tongue. All 13 muscles of the tongue are connected to the area of the throat. Now, if the area of the throat is constricted, then the parts of the throat are unable to respond to the commands from the motor area of the brain. Let's say that my fist, my, my fingers represent the parts of the throat. Glottis, epiglottis, larynx, pharynx, trachea. Let's say that the throat is tight and the command comes down from the motor area of the brain that says glottis, move. Glottis can't move. So the area of the throat should be relaxed and allowed to change. Joe Allard told me once that the throat should feel like it feels when you're just not doing anything. Now, what causes the area of the throat to be constricted? <laughs> 